there are various methods of hitting out or scoring off more than 6 runs and over. In this video, we will look at clearing the leg which is useful against seam bowling. Clearing the front leg to the onside allows the batsman to use a full swing and free the arms. The zones. Let's consider how to hit a good length delivery outside the off stump for a boundary. Driving the ball on the rise will often result in a head out catchable stroke in the air. Using the clear the leg method, good lengths outside off suit a slash or cut either side of point. The swing is identical to a cut shot and is all bottom hand. Next, let's consider how to hit a straight good length delivery for a boundary. Good lengths that are straight suit a lofted shot over mid wicket. As a guide, the fuller the delivery, the straighter the shot. The shorter the delivery, the squarer the shot. Commonly beginners attempt to hit good length straight balls down the ground, which often results in a skied catch. If the ball is slightly fuller, the batsman can hit over the top in the V. Any genuine half volleys can be driven along the ground. Short balls can be pulled or cut as normal. As you can see, with the clear the leg method, the batsman has an option to hit a boundary of almost every delivery. The key is to play the right shot to the right zone. Mistakes here regularly cost the batsman their wicket. Watch the ball. The more unorthodox the shot, the harder it is to watch the ball closely and for as long as possible. Most amateurs don't watch the ball well enough when clearing the leg or playing unorthodox shots. Timing Hitting out can be quite nerve wracking and often this results in batsmen moving too early and not waiting for the ball. Ideally the weight is transferred onto the appropriate foot a moment before the ball is struck. Tempo Many amateurs try to overhit their go-to shots. A good guide is to use a one bounce force swing which can be timed and controlled. A good tip is to extend the bottom arm at contact which will help to create power. Practice Nowadays, 50% or more of most cricket games are in limited overs format. If you think of an orthodox or low risk batting approach, this is adopted far more regularly in training than what is required in matches. Likewise, rotating and go-to shots are used in the games far more than training. It is strongly recommended that batsmen consider the skills needed in the game and devote adequate time to practice and master their skills such as the clearing the leg method. <laughs>